Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're just a day away from the release of iOS 18 beta one. So I have some real exciting stuff to share with you guys and some tips that will help you properly update your device to iOS 18. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys a quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if, please, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more iOS 18 videos, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. Now, before I show you guys the tips and tricks that you need to know before you update your device to the new iOS 18 beta, I will tell you guys about some last minute reports regarding some awesome features coming to iOS 18. And we're gonna go quick through these. First of all, apps. You will be able to lock apps individually with your face ID. Of course, you'll set a passcode as well, but we'll have to see if Apple will allow it to set different passcodes for different apps or whether you will be using the passcode that you use to actually lock your device, whether that should be the same password or you can just set any password for any app. We'll have to wait and see for that, but the report is that you can now lock any individual app on iOS with your Face ID, which is amazing. Something also really cool, now we talked about on previous videos that Apple will allow to change the color of the icons on the home screen. Well, a later report claims that Apple will have a dark mode theme for your icons, something that could look like this. So when you have the dark mode turned on on your device, of course, the icons will go to the dark mode as well. Now, I'm expecting Apple to release, of course, all their icons of their, their apps with a dark mode included, probably then the third party apps will actually need to be updated to just offer a dark mode icon for their apps. And last but not least, also a password app, like a separated dedicated password app is also coming from Apple on iOS 18. And now let's get into the stuff that you should do if you want to update your device to the new iOS 18. Now the first thing everyone should do because this is a new beta, a big update and things might go wrong, make sure that you actually back up your device. Now, I will back up my device today. I will have it ready for tomorrow when iOS 18 beta one comes out. So you should do that as well. Whether you're doing it on your iCloud account or just backing up to your computer or to your laptop, make sure that you do this before you try to update your device to the new iOS 18. Now, most likely when you're updating, everything will go smooth but just in case, make sure that you have a backup of all of your data. Now, one thing you also have to know are the supported devices. Can you install actually iOS 18 on your device? Will your device be supported? Well, the latest rumors claim that Apple will support all the same devices that they have supported with iOS 18. So if you have iOS 17 installed on your device, then expect iOS 18 to also be supported on your device. So you can actually update your device to the new iOS 18 beta one. Now the next thing for everyone that will try to update their device to the beta one of iOS 18 is the storage on their iPhone. Most likely you're gonna need like 15 to 23 gigabytes of storage on your iPhone in order to install the new iOS 18 beta one. Now of course, that might not be exact number, we'll have to wait and see for that. But even though the update usually is maybe five to six or maybe seven gigs, it actually requires a lot more space in order for the installation process to be finished. So if you just wanna wait for the update and you wanna install it when it gets out, make sure you have enough free storage on your iPhone before trying to update your device. Now, when it comes to updating, things have been made very simple from Apple. It is actually really, really easy to update your device to the new iOS 18 beta. It is not actually suggested for everyone to actually update their device on day one because most likely there will be a ton of bugs, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. But updating, again, pretty simple. If you have ever installed any of the betas of iOS 17, then all you have to do to update to iOS 18 head on to your settings, go to software update. 
right here will have your beta updates. You will see the exact same things that you see right here on my phone, just underneath this, there will also be a iOS 18 dev beta. You just select that, you come back here, refresh the screen, and you'll get the first beta of iOS 18. Now, if you have never installed a beta on your iPhone and you wanna do it now, iOS 18 will be the first beta that you install. All you have to do is before you do that, before you go to the update page, first of all, head on to beta.apple.com. Tap the sign in button and right here, go to enroll your device. So all you have to do here is just come here, make sure you sign in, and then make sure you just tap right here, enroll your device. Then from here, it will give you a button where you can just tap here to open beta updates and there you go. It will take you to this page. You simply select iOS 18 beta and you're good to go. Now, the other thing you need to know before you update your device to iOS 18 beta one is that most likely there will be a ton of bugs. Like usually on beta updates, there will be a ton of bugs and especially on initial releases like this one, and especially an update that will most likely have a ton of new features. That of course will be huge, and the bugs will most likely be there as well, but of course there will be also solutions that you can maybe do some things, maybe turn off some features in order to have a more stable device, but there will be actually a ton of bugs. So you need to be aware of that before you try to update your device to the new iOS 18 beta one. Now, of course, another really important thing is battery life, which most likely will be bad, especially in the first couple or three betas. It should be actually quite bad because there will be a ton of bugs and of course issues that will make your battery drain really really fast so another thing to keep in mind if you're trying to update to the first beta of ios 18 and i wouldn't suggest you do that if you're using only one device if it's your main your daily device and you have ios 18 beta 1 in it maybe just wait at least for beta 2 before trying to install it on your iphone now another thing that you should know is that the ai features that have been rumored have been reported to come to the new ios 18 will most likely not make it to all devices now rumors say that it will be an opt-in option so you can use them or not and you will need an iphone 15 pro or the newer iPhone 16 when it gets released in order to use these features. And of course, maybe some of the features will also be available on older devices, but not probably on the oldest devices that actually do support iOS 18. If it turns out to be true that the iPhone 11, of course, the 10s and 10, 10s Max will also support iOS 18. If that happens, I don't actually expect those devices to have a lot of features which are coming with AI on iOS 18. And last but not least are a ton of Siri features that we have reported before. We have seen a lot of rumors and reports regarding especially the AI features that are coming to Siri with iOS 18. Now, the latest report by Mark Grumman says that most of those features will actually come later. They will come with the next updates of iOS 18. Some of them will come to your device in 2025. So don't just expect all the cool new features to be on iOS 18 right away once you install a beta one on your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some of the things that you need to know before you try to update your device to the new iOS 18 beta one, which is coming out tomorrow. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.